All right, hi everyone. So we're here in Durham, New Hampshire today. I wanted to do a walkthrough through a five zone mini split ductless installation that we just finished up last week. Um, we did two separate outdoor units. So a three zone and a two zone outdoor unit um, and obviously five indoor heads. We'll walk through the outdoor unit, show you all the indoor heads it connects to, and then we'll go around to the other outdoor unit and show you the two heads that um, that, that one works with as well. Um, so this actually came out really nice. We're super happy with it. As you can see here, this is that three MXS unit from Daikin. So this is the three port. You'll see the uh, line set in the slim duct running up to the master bedroom inside there. We did poke through and use the basement to run a bunch of line set as well. And we'll show you how that looks. Um, so now we'll go inside and walk you through all the different heads. So here you see the slim duct that's covering up the line set that is running to the unit in the den here. I um, wanted to show you this because you'll see that it's just kind of a piece of slim duct coming out of the wall. This is one of the um, one of the units that we ran line set through the basement to get to. So we actually ran it from that outdoor unit that you just saw um, all the way through the basement to where we're going here. And then it pokes right up, comes through here and the head's right on the other side of that wall. And we'll show you that inside. All right. And so this is the third slim duct run that I wanted to show you on that three port outdoor unit. This is going into their dining room slash office area inside. This was nice too, because we could come through the basement, get to where we needed to go. And then that'll run it right up here. We hardly ever put slim duct at the front of the house, but this was kind of nice because of where we needed to place the head and it's still hidden by the house a little bit here. And we're just able to run our drainage right through here. So we're real happy with how that came out. Okay, so this is that second outdoor unit that we were talking about on the other side of the house here. This is on the back end of the house. This has two indoor units coming off of it. This is the two MXS unit from Daikin. Um, we'll zoom out here and we'll show you. We just ran right upstairs. We didn't have to go through the basement for this to run anything. We just kept it on the outside. Two walls on the inside on the same side of the house. Okay, so this is a 9000 BTU indoor head. This is going to take care of this kind of living area over here. Um, that's the one we showed you that came up from the porch where we ran the line set through the basement to poke up. Um, this here, like we see, like we always do with these heat pumps, they do both heating and cooling. Um, the 9K should be plenty for the size of the room that we're in here. Um, you, you will notice that we're in front of kind of a, a desk dresser thing here, um, which isn't, you know, always what we look for for airflow. The nice thing about these is you can control the direction in which it pushes the air. Um, so we can always push stuff left here and it'll kind of take up this whole area here and we'll have Joe do a little panorama for you to let, let you see where we're covering. So this will be a great option for them. All right, so this is another 9,000 BTU indoor unit here. Um, we chose 9,000, this is the master bedroom. So we have a bathroom right behind Joe there. Um, and the room's just a little larger for a bedroom. So typically in bedrooms we'll go uh, 7,000 BTU, but we felt this is more of an upsized master bedroom with the bathroom included that we're gonna try to get some heating and cooling to as well. So we went up a size here. Uh, unit's not cur currently running, but you'll see right here we have the remote hung. And right here on the side, is a Wi-Fi adapter, and that is something that all of these units have on them. So um, we'll have it all synced up so it can all operate off the Daikin Comfort app. So instead of having to use the remote every time if they're out of the house, they'll be able to control these uh, units off of their Wi-Fi. Okay, and so now we're in the basement, and I just wanted to show you how we ran the line set in the basement to get to where we need to go off of that three-port head. So through the window here, you can actually see the outdoor unit. Um, then we poked through, and here's our different line sets. We have them both kind of zip tied and nicely neat tucked up against the ceiling so right here we came off to get to that unit that went through the porch and into the uh into the den area where that tv was so that's where that's going then we follow this this comes all the way to the end and then we poke out up here to get to the office and dining room area now the homeowner's in the office and dining room right now so you won't see that head but you did see on the outside at the front of the house uh, near those steps in the door where the slim duct was that's where the uh, that's where this is going to okay so now we're up in the kids bedroom here um, this unit comes off of the two port outdoor unit that we showed you earlier um, this is a 7000 BTU unit something that I'll note about um, when we're sizing systems for a bedroom for a smaller bedroom like we have here 
Um, 7,000 is actually a little bit too big, but it's the smallest unit that we can install with Daikin. Um, ideally, this would be like a four to 5,000 BTU unit. So what can happen is if you run it in regular cooling mode, it can become humid in here um, just because it reaches its temperature too quickly and then stops running. So it doesn't pull any of that humidity out of the room. So what we'll do is we'll take the remote up here and we'll put it into dry mode. And what dry mode does is it allows it to run for a longer period of time at that cooler temperature. And then it'll pull, it'll, uh, pull that humidity out um, and do a better job of not only cooling the room, but making it nice and comfortable as far as the humidity factor in here as well. Okay, so that's the end of that video for that install. Um, got to show you the majority of the heads inside the house. We stayed out of the two areas that the uh, homeowners were in working at just to not bug them, obviously. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about the system design or why we set everything up the way we did, or any questions about those units in general, um, if you're planning a project at your house, let us know in the comments section and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.